believe that the Gujaratis and the Sikh community, both these community work together very well. And, but obviously because they form a maximum of the Indian community here in Britain. And this is a very fascinating business idea that I am going to be discussing on this edition of Out of England, where a proposal is being made to crowdfund, use the community, the interest and capitalize on it to crowdfund flights which are direct, non-stop, from London to Ahmedabad and also Amritsar. That's right. You are the brainchild of this concept. Yes. Tell us, hi, tell us about the concept, the proposal, and I being the doubting Thomas, am I going to ask you not, is it going to work at all, is it feasible? Well, there's, it's a, there's a huge Gujarati and Sikh community. I think yeah. between us, it's about 1.3 million, yeah. and we all want to fly non-stop back home. Yeah. In fact, he made a proposal directly to the Chief Minister, uh, to the Prime Minister, sorry, when he was here, Mr. Modi. The one request from the entire community was a direct non stop flight, which was announced, but now it is via Mumbai. So here we're talking about a non stop flight. Absolutely. Eight, eight hours, hours. Eight hours, 15 minutes from Stansted to Ahmedabad, Stansted to Amritsar. Child friendly times. So it's absolutely possible. We're hoping to start it uh, on the 1st and 2nd of October. Uh, the first flight, in fact, to Ahmedabad will be on the 2nd of October, which is uh, Gandhiji's birthday. So, we're, you know, we're really hoping that the public get behind us. The crowdfunding launch will be in a couple of weeks' time, and the public will be able to own half the airline. Right. Crowdfunding is something which has become very popular, so I presume it's going to be, much of it is going to be online. How do you propose to reach out to the community? So most of the crowdfunding for this initiative is going to be all online. Uh, you will find details um, on our website. Uh, you can find details um, on our website from our sponsors who are listed on the website. I don't want to list them here just in case they haven't uh, been authenticated on your channel. So we so have. What happens? What What am I going to get if I'm going to invest XX amount with you? So we're looking for individual investment from uh, like-minded community individuals who will part with 500 pounds. Okay. 500 pounds will give them a gold pass. The gold pass entitles you to a list of benefits for up to five years. Uh, within those benefits will be a free flight to India, fast check-in, fast boarding, VIP. Extra bags. Ex we love right. extra so bags we have, in the so Asian community. I mean, yeah. so, we have, so we'll have extra leg room. And on top of the free flight, we're on normal conventional flights. You're allowed to take two suitcases and your normal hand luggage. We know the Indian community like to fly with a lot more baggage. So oh, we yeah. will fly in for five years. You will be able to take an extra third suitcase on us. Okay, so why should I pay 500 pounds for all these benefits, of course, but also pay another 500 for a ticket? Okay, so the 500 pounds is inclusive of your free ticket. So your 500 pounds, with your 500 pounds, you get a free ticket to India anyway. So on top. No downside. There's no extra 500 pounds to pay. Your 500 pounds buys you a ticket, gets you a ticket to India with all the benefits, and those benefits last for five years, all online, all very simple. Has the Sikh outsmarted a Gujarati with the business concept? It's, uh, it's not smart, uh, outsmart, but I think it's, a, it's a, by the right time the Sikh and the Gujarati get together Absolutely. and they create something which is benefit for the everyone there. And it's, it's not, it's, a, it's a maybe a, you know, the outsmart by the two communities, which is a Gujarati and Sikh yeah, there. And they're outsmarting uh, the aviation industry. And, and actually is helping to the others as well, because don't forget that it's not only for the Gujarati community and Sikh community, but there are lots of people are doing the business in India, yes. and they will benefit there. Because if you think about it, it's a, you know, the, like Mr. You know, the Singh said to uh, look, this flight, it is for the, you know, the very, very timely, you know, the landing and coming there. I'm very, very disappointed because you know that I've been fighting for the direct flight for actually more than four to five years there. And actually, the, my mentor came in when the Asok Patel, you know, the friend of mine, he said, look, let's do something about it. But I'm very thankful to, you know, the Nino, okay, look, he came out with some sort of strategy will benefit not for, you know, the, uh, us only, but everyone, no, in the, the one you use. see if this works because there have been many requests made to, for the last several years to have a direct flight. And so the people have taken it upon themselves now to make sure there are direct non-stop uh, flights which is in eight hours you try to get to Ahmedabad and Amritsar because these are destinations where many many fly to from London particularly um, so the proposal is to have a crowdfunding the community pays uh, about for 50% of That's it right. for the operations and is it going to be weekly bi-weekly it's going to be every other day to start with okay and uh, and then after six months if the business model is validated there'll be daily flights and this is, uh, this is something we came up with with my partner Ashok Patel from Travel Pack 
who basically said, let's build up, let's build up the, the demand. And then if the demand's there, it's very easy to put on those extra flights. Okay, I'm going to ask you this, sir. Mr. Patel, the reputation that the Gujarati has is that he spends very wisely. How are you going to manage to get them to pay? And what has the response been from the community so far? It's community's dream, actually, where they wanted a direct flight. And it's not community's dream only now. It's corporate route as well now. Yeah. Trade between India or Gujarat and UK is increasing. So same thing for Punjab as well. You know? the same thing for Punjab yeah. as well. So the route is something that's very, very critical um, between India and Ahmedabad, yeah. between India and Amritsar. It's not just people flying. There's a lot of bilateral relationship uh, we're talking about, especially at a time of Brexit. However, um, those are deeper issues. Those are larger issues. Here, the focus is on the business module, which I'm very fascinated with because I don't think that this has happened before or attempted, been attempted before on any route to India. Is no, that right? no, it's not. It's not been attempted. Uh, the crowdfunding has def definitely never been tried. Just have one line to say. If the government cannot provide it for you, take it up upon you to do it. So this is a business module, of course, but then also an attempt for the people to get for themselves what they've been longing for years now, direct non-stop flights to some important destinations where many, many from London fly to.